So, as some of you know, today is Super Bowl Sunday for all you Americans who give a fuck. For me, it's one day till the next Fire Emblem game comes out. So, frankly, I really don't care. I barely even knew who was playing until I googled it to make sure it was actually Super Bowl Sunday today. But, uh, for those of you who actually watch football, who do you hope is gonna win? Like I said, I frankly don't care. And again, I didn't even know who was playing until about five, five seconds ago. Because I'm not a sports guy, if you couldn't already assume so. Or the fact that I've said it multiple times. But I figure a lot of people will be watching it, so I might as well throw that out there. But anyways, hey guys, this is why we got a match here today against Tony Flagon's fourth match. You should know this team by now, so I'm not going to go into it. And that's why I kind of went with nonsense, dribble, drabble, fucking, ah, for the intro. So we'll just get into this match. And it's going to be kind of speedy, so hopefully I'll be able to keep up. But he leads off with Swampert, I lead off with Heatran. I want to make the safe play right off the bat, even though I know Tony knows how I play with, in fourth gen, that is. So he knows I do tend to probably want to go for the safest move right off the bat first and then I could actually have the HP grass and I do love using Specs Train in 4th gen but he's gonna go into Dragonite. I see no lever so I'm assuming he's Midnight so I'm gonna switch right out to Jirachi just in case he does make the safe move of Draco Meteor which he does get a crit on which is gonna be annoying but whatever but I'm gonna double switch out to Swampert as he goes into Swampert because we both want to get rocks up we both know it'll be the better situation I want to also directly switch into Swampert in case Extreme Speed did have the chance of KOing my Rachi but we both get our rocks up kind of obvious but I go for Earthquake here get a crit which is like well, okay well now uh, your team player is gonna go down quicker but no I went for Earthquake because I figured he'd go for Earthquake of his own or he'll go for Roar so I might as well get damaged when he tries to roar me because I might as well try and hurt his team player, because that would be the smart move to make. And, yeah, I don't know. It's like, I didn't really care about Swampert as much, even though it would potentially be useful. But, I go for Dynamic Punch here with Machamp. He does outspeed me, which does tell me he was running, like, Impish or something, and not, like, relaxed, because otherwise he would have minus speed. I probably would have outsped him, I think. I actually don't remember. Pretty sure I would have, though. But, he goes into Dragonite here. I was hoping I might be able to live a Dragon Meteor. It's my only chance to really take one. I don't want anything else to take it, so I'm just going to let Machamp try and take it, because I do a Special Defense Investment. I can't remember if I'm careful or adamant. I really don't remember. I think I'm... There's a chance I'm careful, but I don't remember. But I go into Gengar right here. I decided to just go for Substitute just in case he wants to switch out. I know there's a chance that maybe Shadow Ball will take out his... Uh, Dragonite where he's at. So I'm thinking maybe eventually I'll be able to get a free sub up and then deal with him from there. But he does go for Roost on my second sub. I just decided let's go for Pain Split, get some HP back, and then I can go for Shadow Ball. Which really was kind of stupid, but now... He does miss the Dragon Meteor, so there's a fair amount of hacks going on, but it, it is going to not really even out that well later, but it's fuck. <laughs> but I did go for Shadow Ball. It would have taken him out if he didn't go for Roost. I should have just gone for Shadow Ball earlier, but I was being a derp about it. But, I mean, I still end up with a decent amount of HP in the end, so I'm not really too bothered by it. But he's going to go into Jirachi here, and I figure, okay, let's use my own Jirachi as Death Fodder. He's either going to go for Iron Head or he's going to go for U-Turn. I just want to make it safe, go into Jirachi, and use it as fodder. But he's going to switch out to Magnezone. I'm like, here, oh, fuck, I don't have Fire Punch. What am I going to do? I'm going to just, just Iron Head and Death Man. I'm like, wait a second. I haven't gone for a move yet. I'm just going to go for a U-Turn. And he was hoping I would have Fire Punch, but not on this particular Jirachi, because I used it in the one team that was my favorite, and I didn't have Fire Punch on it, because I didn't need Fire Punch on it. But uh, I'm going to go into Gengar and hopefully threaten him out with a Shadow Ball, because I hoped it would be able to take him out. But he's just going to make the safe play and go into Magnezone. I'm like, okay, well, I'll just Focus Blast him. And it luckily hits, so I hit a Focus Blast. He misses a Drake Meteor, so that's pretty goddamn special. But, you know, it's the way of the game. But now he's going to go back into Jirachi here, and I can use my Jirachi Death Fodder like I was planning on before. And now I can see what he wants to lock himself into, which is going to be the U-turn. So I figure I'll go into Swampert and then uh, do something with that. I don't know. What I should have done probably is gone into Dragonite there. That would have been a lot smarter. But I wasn't thinking about it for some reason. I, I I really can't even tell you why I wasn't thinking about it. But I go into Swampert, kind of stupid. But I just decided let's get some damage off on this Gengar. And then we'll go from there. But actually, no, I roar him out. Why did I think I put damage on him? But uh, I roar him instead, so that's fine. But roar him into Kingdra. And I'm hoping here he might want to try and set up a Dragon Dance thinking he'd be able to take an Earthquake okay. Which he doesn't. He just goes straight for Dragon Pulse to take me out. Because that's a smart play. So he's going to do a smart play. But now I'm going to go to Gengar. And I can just take him out with the Shadow Ball, but he does not want his King Dread to die, so he's going to go to Jirachi, who can take a Shadow Ball, and then take me out with whatever the fuck he wants to go for. Which, I think he just chooses U-Turn, because it'll still kill when I'm at 9 HP. So, he does U-Turn, does take me out, but he goes back into Gengar, and I'm thinking, okay, now, I have to do something that will actually do something. So I'm going to go to Gengar to potentially scare him out. 
because that seems like it would work. Now I go for the Dragon Dance, in case he wants to stay in, then I can just hit him with Dragon Claw. But right here, him going into Jirachi, major turning point in the match where I am just going to slow it down right here because it is very fucking important. Now there are a series of potential moves that can happen. He can either go for Ice Punch or he can either go for U-Turn. Now my potential moves are I can go for either a Dragon Dance or an Earthquake, or I can switch out to Heatran. Now, here's my winning conditions. I have a chance to live in Ice Punch from this Jirachi, so if he goes through Ice Punch, I have potential to live it and then take him out eventually. But, but if he predicts my switch out to Heatran and goes for U-Turn, he does win. And if I die, then he wins from the Ice Punch. But if I go to Heatran and he goes for Ice Punch, I win. So, I mean, it, it, there's a lot of mind games right here of what could potentially happen and what would be the smartest play. Now, I decide here, okay... I think he might just predict me to go to Heatran because he knows how big the risk can be. So I figure also with the chance of me living the Ice Punch, I told him I could live the Ice Punch. I thought the risk might be too great for him. So I'm like, okay, fuck it. I'm going to go for Dragon Dance. I have a really nice chance of living it. But he does stay in and go for Ice Punch. But I'm like, okay, I do have a decent chance of living it. But unfortunately, I'm not able to live it. So like I said, that was basically the turning point in the match. Because I can go into Heatran. I can kill off his Jirachi. But he has both Kingdra and Gengar left, which doesn't really bode well for me, but I at least am able to take him out with a Dragon Pulse, but he does have Kingdra left, which I'm like, please, for some reason, be a mixed rain dance, but he is probably just fully special, but he might just run more speed investment, but he is just going to take me out with the Hydro Pump, and that will be the match, because, yeah, nothing left, but like I said, if I live the Ice Punch from that Jirachi, then I would have been able to sweep through his team. If uh, I went out to Heatran, would have had a ton of initiative there, so, I mean, either way, whatever way it crumbled, that move right there was just like, yeah, really intense thing, but, you know, all, all in all, it was a pretty fun match, Tony, so, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, it, I am sorry about the hacks, but it, it turned out to be a very fun match in the end, and, you know, it probably didn't matter as much as it could have, because it came down in the end to that one move, and probably wouldn't make too much of a difference, but, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you have fun watching the Super Bowl. And for you Europeans that don't know what the fuck is going on, well, it, you don't need to know. <laughs> but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Such, such, blah. Rick, comment, sub, and later, guys.